influenced by artists, philosophers, and professors. In this time, art became very important and people started being credited by their talent and networks instead of by their wealth. One of the most important Northern Renaissance artists of the 15th century was Jean van Eyck. Although only 25 works are confidently credited to him, he created a unique, strong undercurrent of realism, which became a very big part of late medieval art. Okay, it is believed Jan van Eyck was born in Brut in Masaik in 1380. Uh, this is said because of his last name Eyck, which is an old spelling of Eyck, the termination of Masaik. Uh, he was a hog painter in 1422, in which he was already a master and had assistants. Then he was a court painter and worked for Philip the Good in Lille, and this is a painting he did in this city in this Lille. He died in Bruges in 1441, and he, after, before he died, he returned in 1429. This is a portrait of Philip the Good, and he became very close to him when he was working and he baptized one of John's daughters. This is a portrait he made as a gift for him, which is of Isabella of Portugal, and that painting John van Eyck painted uh, later convinced Philip the Good to marry her. John van Eyck had two brothers, Hubert and Lambert, and one sister, Margarita, this is a sculpture in St. Gavin's Cathedral uh, with his brother Hubert. Along with his brother Hubert, he created the Ghent Altarpiece, also called the uh, Adoration of the Mystic Lamb or the Lamb of God. And this painting was started by Hubert and then finished by Jan after the death of, of his brother Hubert. This painting consists of 12 panels, eight of which are hinged shutters. Um, the wings, the outer wings, which, is, which are these ones, uh, can be opened or closed. When the wings are closed, uh, they, it is in, or in a Sunday or in a religious holiday. And this is because, like, in this specific era and also now, uh, the Christ is shown like as Lord with Mary and John the Baptist and it is shown like as the center of everything. So in Sundays and in religious holidays, it is the only thing that is shown of the thing. And this is also located in San Pablo's Cathedral as well as the sculpture of him and his son. This is the actual size of the painter of the painting and this is if which is shown in the right side. So the painting is very big. And this is a school in the, this was the workshop in Bruges of Jean van Eyck, which was a foundation and a former school. And in this workshop, people learned the Eichen style which was based on realism. And it is believed Hubert and Jan made all their work so carefully to reflect the beauty of God's creation. And as Jan van Eyck being the father of oil painting, uh, he also had a great role in perfection in it and was one of the few Renaissance artists that used this technique. He, in all of his works, he used an abundance and severity of color which later took him to achieve a uh, good reflection of the natural world. His influence in Northern and Southern Europe grew a lot in the Renaissance with Flemish painting and oil painting, and it is still growing now. This is another painting he created. Uh, it is another, like, oil and panel painting. 
this was this consists of two panels which were attributed by him and then uh, the rest of the painting was finished by people in their by people in his workshop after he died. Uh, this is one of the northern Renaissance oil and panel masterpieces and it is described by its complexity and detailed technique, as you can see. And the left panel is it shows a hell in the bottom and then the resurrected awaiting in the middle and heaven in the top, which with Christ shown as Lord in, in the top with angels, and this is the crucifixion of the last judgment. And as you can see, most of Jan van Eyck's works are really religious, which shows that he was very religious and expressed himself in his paintings. I believe Jan van Eyck's influence in the Renaissance was very important and it is still important to many people now because uh, the world would be very different without oil painting because most of the paintings that people create now are made with oil and also I think his works make us see uh, paintings in our different way because if it is a reflection in God's create, if, if it is a reflection of God's creation, we can all see his paintings like a different perspective. Or 